un Cristo muerto de hambre. No tengo quien más pedirle ayuda. Tú quieres la gente. Son 10 años de cárcel. <risa> Okay, um, 1976 talks about uh, a woman, a 50-year-old woman who, um, in 1976, goes to um, the beach uh, uh, where she has her uh, vacations, uh, vacations house um, to do some works on the house. Uh, during the winter vacation, and while she's there, the priest of of that uh, place, uh, who's a who's a friend of the family, asks her to take care of of a boy that he has uh, hidden in the church. <coughs> It came because I started asking myself about my grandmother, and um, I knew that my grandmother was. After being a housewife and and raised three girls and you know being in charge of the house during the 60s, uh, 50s and 60s, uh, she decided to go to art school. Uh, but uh, but after a couple of years studying there, she saw that uh, she was too old to begin a new life. Um, and she was in her 40s, no? so uh, I, I thought that it was nice to, in a way, write a new beginning. No? Uh -huh. Well, um, because uh, this particular thing that, I, that my grandmother died that year, no? and so I asked myself what happened that year, uh, because she was uh, really depressed at that moment. Uh, and, I, and, um, and, and, and usually we um, make responsible for depression just the person, no? Uh, and, um, and I asked myself, there, there's something more, no? We have to look at it in the whole, the, we have to look at the whole picture. Not just, you know, that person, that just one individual. Um, and... Um, And, uh, and then I, re I mean, I realized that this was the worst, I mean, the most crude and, and uh, the most tragic, one of the, one of the most tragic years of dictatorship. Uh, so, yeah, there was a clear relation, no? La mamá está de profe de literatura. Sí. Voy a leer unos cuentos a unos cieguitos. Gracias por mantener la boca, madre. Done by a woman and done by a group of women and, and, and talking about the point of view of a woman, of course it's feminist, you know? Even if I, I think that as a woman you can make something not feminist, but uh, it not, not as a, pam a pamphlet, this is yeah, what I mean. No? Not like being a, making the film a, just a discourse of, of feminism. Um, I think uh, it was a great challenge to do this because it was a low budget film and it was also, it has a lot of, uh, it had a lot of challenges, you know, in, I mean, making a period film. But I think we were like, uh, uh, you know, th there's this uh, phrase that I think I kept on, in, I kept in, I kept on in my mind. I mean, I kept on remembering or like listening in my mind, which was like, you have to choose your battles, no? And then, where do you put things to m make the p the film? feel like in this period and uh, so it's it's really like choosing the right location I, I mean choosing the right way to frame a certain location and I think um, being in the beach was a really strategic thing because a beach um, in, in, in this place uh, this beach town um, still have a lot of that period and uh, and also there's the beach which is always a period place <laughs>
depend or no no era or no, no time place kind of uh, yes of course because i think uh, um it's interesting to to me to make this ambiguous no the, because it could be anywhere yes be anywhere in 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 a, it's the story it's like a, a a little story in a beach town no <clears throat> and this idea uh, I liked it because I I uh, I, oh, I I always wanted to make a film about the the margins, I mean about looking looking at history from the margins and then it, this place with no name because usually like Santiago the capital is like the place that has a name, so I wanted to go to a, a place that has no name, a woman that has no name, of course, um, and I felt. Also, what I was saying before, no, uh, I think that um, when I, when I, during uh, the writing process, um, I understood that I had to, I had to, I mean, it was really organic how the story started developing uh, as a, as an almost as a thriller, no, but because I, n not because I wanted this, you know, deliberately, but, but just. You know, putting myself in the in in the point of view of this woman, suddenly suddenly I found myself making a thriller, <laughs> um, and uh, and yes, of course. I mean, uh, the more she goes into this other world that she is discovering, the more un anxious the film uh, uh, feels, no, because of what she is feeling. Gracias por todo, señora. ¿Qué le parece? Le quedó igualito al libro. ¿Por qué te dispararon? ¿Tú me podrías sacar unos antibióticos del hospital? Um, I, I always thought about her for this part um, and um, and so yes it was like a choice that in a way wasn't a choice no it's not that you start like thinking mm, this this you know it was more like an, a character written for for her um, and we work a lot just talking um, and I found out that she also had a grandmother who was a very special person, who was a, a woman ahead of her time. And, um, and, and so I, I thought it was really interesting to also put some, some things of, of, the, of her, her story and, and, uh, in the movie. So I think this, this also made her feel the character more closely. Yes, I think the, the ocean is, a, is another character of the, of the film, no? And I think it was important to me because um, the ocean, well, the ocean is so present in Chile, it's such a, you know, character in Chile. Um, there's the coast is all along the country. Uh, and, it, and, and the Pacific has this very special, you know, uh, force. Uh, it's, it's, so st it's so like um, strong and, and wavy. Um, so, and at the same time, for in this period, the ocean for me, uh, or the ocean was a place where, um, where also the these, the the victims' bodies were thrown, you know, and they disappeared in the ocean. Uh, so I think it was like this idea of of how this threatening thing also, you know, our. Um, the, this, this place where also the, the bodies are being thrown. I, 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 for me, it was like this presence of dictatorship also in the ocean. Eso es todo lo que tenía que hacer.